Someone's actually in my chat. Dude, can we whoa. leave this in the podcast? Dude, Mike is super gay. Whoa, gay-y. whoa. What? <laughs> Editor, leave it in. <laughs> Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Oh, my God. If Holy. Today, we are, uh, we are being gamers and podcasters all at once. Yeah. Yeah. Is everyone recording? Yes. Are we recording? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's start the podcast then, dude. I'm just, I'm awake and alive now. You just got a podcast. You just got a podcast. You just got a podcast. It is the goons. Woo! I'm finding a match in Apeport. What are you guys up to? Chat, what do you do? What is, what's up? Yeah, chat. What's Hello, going chat, on, chat? Karen, chat, how you doing? I have someone in my chat as we're doing the podcast that says my grandmother has wrinkly toe. Let's go. Shout out his grandma. Let's go, dude. What you munching on? You still in your cheese it era? Mm. Can you be in a cheese it era? He I'm was. currently in my Lance Toast Cheese Sandwich Crackers Peanut Butter Five Grams of Protein Era. Oh, era. I had an era like that. Yeah. Mm. Let's go pretty hard. Mm. Yummy. Why don't you turn that bitch back up again? Turn that bitch back up. <laughs> <laughs> Like a snake just hissed at me. That's exactly what happened. Good old ape war. Good old ape war. Good old old Good school old motherfucking ape war. Oh, I got a question for you guys. We didn't clap, by the mm-hmm. way. Oh, we didn't clap. All oh, right, shit. we'll do the clapping after I kill this monkey. Editor, sync this after I kill... I blew up the monkey. <laughs> All right, we ready? All right. Yeah. Three, two, one. Clap <laughs> time. I have a question for you guys after I mm-hmm. kill a monkey. Spotify viewers, we are all playing games and not paying attention to the podcast today. No, we're paying attention. This is going to be one of the, the podcasts of all time. I yeah. I have no idea where I'm at right now. I don't know. What's okay, going on. editor, maybe censor the name of whoever I just killed. That needs to happen. <laughs> that was a bad name. Oh, they're probably in it. the. Yeah, I'm gonna. A4 is not the game to play. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you mean? It's not only respectful, respectable people that play this game? Uh, Maybe I'll find a new lobby. My question okay. for you guys was going to be, how do you guys think that they make these motherfucking crackers orange? Uh, Probably red dye mixed with yellow dye, I would guess. Red 40. Does that make orange? Yellow 5. Yellow and... Is that, uh, yeah. um, I mean, the same fucking lobby. Every the sense of that motherfucker, really. There's probably only down. six people playing that game. Yeah. You watch your whore mouth, dude. <laughs> Actually, there's 21 people playing. It's at the bottom left. Oh. oh. Get shit I'm going to quit that just game and play a right? new one. What's next? What are we playing? I don't know. What games have you guys been playing? I've been wanting uh, to try that new game, Helldivers 2. I haven't played it yet. Dude, have you played that? I've been playing not, the fuck out of that game, dude. It's so but good. It, really? it looks fun. It looks it looks pretty good. I've been playing the absolute fuck out of it. It is so much fun. It's like COD Zombies, Gears of War, um, Chicken Little, the movie, the video game. <laughs> um, what a curveball. <laughs> but not really. But not really. You'd have to play it. Yeah, you'd have to play it to understand, dude. I wouldn't expect you to understand. It's fun. Uh, Little, it takes a little more intellect to understand. Yeah, it's a great game. Highly recommend. Ten out of ten. Super fun. Yeah, we should play it. I think you guys we should would like record it. it. I think it would be good for funny moments because it's just kind of a goofy game. Uh, it's hardcore in a way, but it's also goofy at the same time. So that's a good combo. And your guy you runs know, around and he's like, "Taste I freedom, you. eat freedom." I describe you like that to people: hardcore, but also funny. Oh, thanks, babe. You're a hardcore kind of guy. Osama Gaming 4. I go I go hard sometimes. You know, he used to actually game. I know we've talked <laughs> They're about They're going to make it, a but... gay joke right there. <laughs> <laughs> Do like a Gaming. millennial pause. What was going to be the gay joke? Oh, you're talking to me? <laughs> I yeah. have no fucking idea. Something about being hard. <laughs> Dude, are you... What do you mean am I talking to you? Are you distracted by the gif on your screen? You're not even playing a real game. <laughs> How much that. HP does that squid have? How can it keep you, taking damage? You don't know, like that, I, I just keep killing the fucking squid over and over. You're with like my, trying to speed run the perfect input of killing one squid with an intervention in Minecraft. Uh huh. <laughs> just keep resetting it to like 
Try and get it pixel perfect. Yeah, keep doing it wrong <clears> way. <throat> keep missing the squid I want to kill. Yeah, that happens to a lot of squidders out there. Yeah. This is all too real. Would you guys fucking wrestle a giant squid? If it was on land. That yeah, dude, if, if we were on our... Lame. You wouldn't... <laughs> but in the ocean, you're kind of like powerless. If it was on land, yeah, but the giant squid would be like... If someone, if another squid went up to the giant squid and was like, yeah, would you wrestle McNasty? The squid would probably be like, yeah, if it was underwater, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I think it needs to be and neutral be like territory that. like space or something. Yeah. Or like yeah. a volcano. Yeah, somewhere where both of you would be shit. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah. Like underground, in the sand. Because if the giant squid was like, yeah, bro, I'll take McNasty on if it's in the Pacific Ocean, you'd yeah. be like, dude, that's not fair. Oh, you're real <laughs> tough. You'd fight me in the Why Pacific Ocean. Why am I a nerd ocean? in the squid's like hood? <laughs> <laughs> hood squid. <laughs> Fighting I think a, your ass fighting a squid in, in the hood got wrong. <laughs> in his own hood. Mm. Don't giant, giant squids have like them. beaks and shit, don't they? They can fuck shit up. I think giant squids have beaks. They can fuck shit up. Yeah. I've heard I've that heard. they have beaks and that they have the ability to be fucking sh things up. It's kind of weird to think that squids have beaks. What do they need beaks for? Is it like a bird beak? So they can peck so. open clams. Oh, yeah. That's kind of terrifying, I didn't think bro. about that. I have no idea, dude. Why would you need a beak if you have all those fucking tentacle porns on you? Mm -mm. That's true. Yeah. What a, I'm going to look it up. What do squids use their beak for? What do... What do squid use beak for? Let's see. <laughs> the colossal squid uses its beak to chop and slice up prey before the food is passed down the esophagus into the stomach and digestive organs. The squid has to reduce the food to smaller chunks because its esophagus is narrow and passes through the middle of the squid's donut-shaped brain. <laughs> what, a, what a slight what? roast in that article there, dude. Oh, I've <laughs> you heard that donut they have, brain, bitch. I've heard that they have that. There's like a reason for that. I can't remember. They a reason for like what? A, their beak or the donut brain? The donut brain, yeah. What does something need to pass? Through I think the that brain? their food goes be like through their brain before it gets to their stomach or something. <laughs> That's fucking retarded. <laughs> Homer Simpson <laughs> ass squid. Very, very <laughs> stupid. Yeah, yeah. It's a pink sprinkle donut. Every squid's got one. Seven Eleven. Dude, wait a minute. Homer Simpson kind of has a beak as well. Yeah, he does. His mouth is like a separate so part is, from his body. So is Homer Simpson a squid? Does he anyone else donut. think Homer of Squidson. peanut butter when they look at Homer Simpson, or is that just because I'm eating peanut butter? I think that's because you're racist as shit. How would that you make me it, racist? You're saying he's com the complexion of peanut butter? I think of, of jaundice butter? and liver failure. Yeah, I think of piss. No, I think of peanut butter. His mouth look, reminds me of someone that like eats a lot of peanut butter. Okay. How, do, <laughs> how so? I don't, get the I don't know. That's what I like. Sometimes you like think of things that have no correlation, but for you it has a correlation. Like some yeah. people oh, that's smell autism. like smell Diet Coke and they fucking fart or something, you know? Yeah, or like that's definitely you, autism. Like <laughs> you lick a lollipop and you're like, I could go rob a bank now. <laughs> like one of those weird things. If I scratch the top of my ass crack, it makes me feel like I need to pee. Actually, that's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. It's some weird. people have that weird. and and I I don't have that. That's not a, if I scrap scratch the top of my ass crack. What do you consider the top of your ass like crack? Like the top, like, like up the back? Like right when it ends, like that area, up the back, then yeah, your ass crack that goes up your back. Like I wouldn't. <laughs> but where do you determine where? Like ass if I scratch the middle of my back, it's not gonna happen. It has to be like right at the in at the, the ass tip. crack. Yeah, like okay. the last inch of the ass crack. Mm -hmm. Where you scratch you your, sweet spot. like no poop ever touches that area, you know. Well, mm, you might well, be surprised, speak, my friend. Speak for yourself, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you guys you, I've had poop on my back, bro. Damn. Yeah, dude, I, I've, I, I've found poop in various places. I've found them between my shoulder <laughs> blades. It it gets up there. Dude, one time I put my shoes on in the morning, I just had my own shit in there. I was like, how the fuck did that get in there? Good Lord. But you knew how it got in there. You knew. I knew, I was, I knew yeah. how it got in there. Yeah, you knew. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude. What the hell did you Are do with a doctor? typing an essay? What the fuck was that? I was making a Soma video. I don't know why I have WordPad open. Does that need to be censored? It might be. Editor, don't show my word pass. It's just the N word like 800 times. <laughs> <laughs> just do that on your typing, free time. I'm like typing release my frustration. manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the world record for fastest N word typer. 
<laughs> Super, you're gonna play a new game, or you're just gonna be black screen this whole time? Yeah, I was updating Call of the Wild Angler. Oh, oh hell yeah! Dope as fuck. It's so dope, bro. It's so fucking dope. So but dope. Nasty, have you shouted out your uh, Soma video on here now that it's live? No. But you should shout it out. Tell the people what's going on. McNasty has a new channel. I do. Uh, probably, I would say, like, maybe my ninth channel. Like, ninth or tenth so far. At Ironically, least. that That's your ninth that you've started? Uh, yeah. So, I did. Oh, shit. Let me just think. <laughs> so, main channel, obviously. Then I had uh, more McNasty, which eventually turned to more McNasty Archive, which is still Archive. Then I had McNasty Live. Yeah. See, the thing is, is that the lore is no one cares. You're right, yeah. yeah. That is, to sit Didn't there and ask about all that. Just way did too not much ask. Effort. Anyways, lots of channels in my lifetime. Um, Still didn't ask. <laughs> yeah, anyways, do some of video. Go watch it. Two hours long. End up. How does it feel to be alive? For some people, it's eating peanut butter crackers on a podcast. <laughs> For other people, That is very human. It's... <laughs> do what? I said that is very human. Why is your... Your thing is see-through. Well, what is see-through? Your, your yeah, cracker, yeah. when you put it up to your tongue, it's see-through. Is there Shut green? Shut the fuck up, cracker. Is there green and orange? Uh, I don't know, dude. Yeah, that's like you... You're going to have to ask God that at the pearly gates. I don't know why that's <laughs> happening. Yeah, why does it disappear as it gets farther away? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do something fucked. You see, like, you would think that you would eat a cracker like this. Uh-huh. Right? I'm going to eat it like this. Oh! Ow. Oh, no, he hurt? didn't. He that didn't do that. It didn't hurt, but it wasn't pleasant. He ate pleasant. it vertically. <laughs> he ate it, it was not vertically. a pleasant cracker experience. All right. Leave a like if you're hanging out with a... my family. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Leave a like for that. Leave a like All if you've ever haunted. had a pleasant cracker experience. No likes received on the video. What's the whitest shit you ever done? Uh, did he okay. lag for you, McNasty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said, what's the whitest shit you ever done? The whitest um, shit? What's the whitest shit about you? Probably be born Oof. in the South. Probably start a podcast. With three other white guys. Mm -hmm. well, is, that a, of... is that a predominantly white activity? I think so. I feel like I don't see Probably. a lot of black podcasts. I feel like every white bro at some point wants to talk about something for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> white people addicted to turning on a camera and talking about bullshit for an hour. So what are we hunting today? You fishing? We're just going yeah, fishing. I'm fishing. I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't remember how the fuck you do it. But I'll so try you're to figure washed. it out. Yeah. I'm not washed. I'm a dirty boy. I'm a Woo! dirty dick sniffer. Woo! 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 What y'all think of that Super Bowl? Oh my God, dude! Don't even get me started, dude. Next topic. Next topic. Okay, no, shit, um, bro. Um, real shit. Real shit. I'm glad you said that because I did have something I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I watched the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. All right. If you guys don't know what that is, it's the football game. It's a sport. And yeah. they televise it on the TV. <laughs> yeah. That's, that is so far and accurate. I watched it <clears throat> in Nickelodeon version. Not Did Spanish, not in Espanol. Ah. Not Telemundo Espanol version. But yes. the Nickelodeon version, my friend. Yes. I heard about this. I heard it was actually really good. It was actually one of the funniest football games I've ever watched. And I know that doesn't sound shocking because not many football games are funny. But it was really good. I don't even know if I can... I, I'm just... I need to, like, find a clip of what I heard to confirm that I heard it. Uh-oh. <laughs> and just a disclaimer, this is what I believe to... I'm not, I don't even know if I want to say it. I just want to say I'm pretty yeah, sure Patrick Starr... Compared a football player to a silverback. His words <laughs> on Nickelodeon. Which football player? One of them of all time. And <laughs> okay. I'm just saying that caught me off guard 
hearing that from fucking Patrick Starr on Nickelodeon, that was not that was like a little uncalled for. And uh, SpongeBob mentioned something about the script flipping, which was Whoa. like, I was like, dude, we are definitely living in a simulation. Patrick <laughs> has made a racist joke at the Super Bowl. Not even a joke, like an actual just like just know, a statement on uh, social just, commentary. Yeah, just, just a, a statement that <laughs> just sort of seemed to you know maybe not the right time or the right wording for what he was trying to get across. Um, totally off from what he meant <clears throat> to say. Totally off. Should have used a different uh, analogy. And then SpongeBob talks analogy. about the script flipping, which is like, all right, dude. They're just being obvious about it. They're just they're just they're just being blatant. You're in a simulation. Nothing's real. Nothing is real. The government controls the fluoride. I don't think they do though. You don't think so? No. I feel like that's the one thing they can't get their hands on. You're entitled to your own opinion, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> we'll have a thirty minute debate on it. Goons Miami, meeting Florida. Goons meeting here. <laughs> right now. Right here where I'm standing in who, game. Who, who runs the fluoride on this little patch of sand? <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, even know so, what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing in this game. So what was the... Where was this Nickelodeon shit shown? Where, where did... Because I don't know where to find it. And I wanted to watch it. I just watched it on YouTube TV. Oh. Well, that's easy. I'm assuming it's probably on Nickelodeon too, if I were to guess. That would be a, a common mistake. Oh. Because it wasn't actually Nickelodeon. It was Nickelodeon. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. I just watched it on YouTube TV. It, it popped up, and I clicked on it. I was like, hell yeah, SpongeBob and Patrick commentating the Super Bowl. And, dude, they kept doing, like, bits where it was, like, fish that are celebrity. It was like, so, oh, check out the celebrities at tonight's game. And it was, like, fucking Harry Sturgeon or something. <laughs> and it was, like, a fish that looked like Harry Styles. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Or like a, what, what, what was the, there was like a Billie Eilish one. It was like, <laughs> I don't even know Billie what it said. Fucking Billy Fishy or some shit. It was so <laughs> stupid, dude. And I was like, dude, imagine being completely stoned out of your mind, right? <laughs> yeah. Imagine being high as fuck and not realizing that Nickelodeon is doing like an NFL commentary themed football game. Or and I think they do it for like every game, maybe not every game, but I think they did it throughout the whole football season. So just imagine being right. high as fuck, having no idea that SpongeBob and Patrick are commentating the NFL game, and you fucking like turn it on. You wake up the next day, you're like, did 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 was Patrick at the Super Bowl last night? What yeah. the hell happened? You're like, <laughs> I want to watch the Super Bowl. And fucking, you just turn it on as this plankton and a robot just shooting out slime on the crowd you're like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> which happened a good bit and it was like we're gonna go to our reporter on the field and it was fucking sandy cheeks down on the football field yeah yeah <laughs> and dude larry the lobster kept running around like hey guys i'm waiting on the ball <laughs> just like running it like cgi running around the football field oh and it was God. so fucking funny oh and he was like, check out my pecs. And there was like some, there was always like a weird kind of delay between the commentators and like the other people that were like the reporters on the field. Oh my God. It was fucking amazing. What a genius idea, bro. Seriously. It was so it's, good. I hope it becomes like an annual thing. It was fucking hilarious. Jesus. Ah! Ah! Fine. I'll upload my YouTube video alarm. What are we getting today? Uh, prank calling scammers. Woo! Yeah. Did you make anyone mad? The guy said that if I came to Pakistan, he would bomb the Uber that I got in. <laughs> That's the cliff notes of the video. A little bit oh, more. I'm interested than that. already. <laughs> Will you catch something already? Damn, I know. Dude. I was just thinking, dude. I'm like a shitty fisherman. I'll, I'll try. It's like you fishing in real life. That's true. I actually did go fishing today and I didn't catch a fucking thing. So you had to come home and try to do it in virtual reality. <laughs> had, to, had to do this to make me feel better. And you still can't catch shit. <laughs> How do I switch what I'm fucking using, dude? 
Did you ever want to, when you were a kid, this might be a retard of me, but did you ever want to like eat the power bait when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the power bait? Power it's bait, not just yeah. you, buddy. What is that? It's like a bait. Powerful. <laughs> sure. I don't know. It's just this Oh, like... shit. I have a fish. He's got a live one. Wait. You got that fast after changing your thing. I missed him because I fucking... Oh, man. Motherfucker, dude. You know why I missed him? Because I forget how you reel shit in in this game. Bruh. Kind of important in a fishing game. Who is spamming in your chat? Is that one guy? Oh, it's two guys. Oh, shit. Bombing civilians is funny. Okay. Well, pretty based. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I didn't know Obama was in your chat today. <laughs> That's just casually going on in my chat. Not too damn bad. Uh. Yes, sir. Dude, what yes, did you what do for were you the asking? Super Bowl? Huh? Oh, power bait. Didn't you... Yeah, I oh, still yeah. don't know what that is. You never Eating. answered me. It's like this little, like, uh, it's like a jar of, like, very colorful, Didn't ask. glittery clay that looks tasty. Ow. That hurt me to watch. Mm -hmm. Viewers, he's That should be eating... like one of Saw's traps. Like, you have to eat a cracker vertically. You gotta eat a bowl of Cap'n Crunch, no milk, and I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I think I could do it. You think so? If I tried really hard. I could never. What about eating a spoonful of peanut butter without milk? Oh, that would be hard. Powdered peanut I butter? It could Dude, be the worst. Dude, worst, the worst is eating a spoonful of peanut butter... And then going to the fridge to get milk and realizing you don't have any fucking milk. So then you just saw your head off. Because <laughs> it's the easiest way to end the suffering. So then you pull the pin on a nade and shove it up your ass. <laughs> you guys think you could survive a nade, like, up your ass? No. Uh, right. See, I don't really know how grenades work, right? So would the moisture in your booty hole... Like cause the the sparks and the shrapnel and the flames and all that and the gunpowder and everything. This I think what would happen is to... your stomach would just go boom and then you just cough up a bunch of like steam and then and you'd be like hubba hubba afterwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you would expand and have smoke. You'd be like and have smoke coming out of your fucking ears and nose. Mm -hmm. And you go like, not mm -hmm. again. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? Uh... That Russian meeting that was going on on Twitter like a month ago where it was like some government officials or something and some dude just walked in and threw three flashbangs in the room and just walked out. No. no. Can you please link that? That sounds hilarious. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. Nobody actually gets seriously injured, but it sounds like grenades going off, but it's just flashbangs. They're That's just funny. in there talking about like, what are we going to do about the fences that are too high? And just... <laughs> See if I can find it. <laughs> That's probably fucking scary as shit. Being surprised by that, like <laughs> hearing the sound of a realistic, like realistic grenade, and then being blinded for like thirty seconds or however long. I actually don't know how long a real flashbang blinds you. I do, I've heard that flashbangs don't actually blind you. I, I think they kind of just like stun you. What? It just kind of like it like fucks up your hearing real bad, and you just kind of like you go like out of it for a little bit. <laughs> I don't think it works like actual, like a video game where your screen just turns white. And you hear ee. Yeah. Well, you probably hear the ee, actually. You probably do hear that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because a loud noise moment. It's just a super fucking loud. It says, a very loud cause thing. temporary blindness, temporary loss of hearing, loss of balance, a sense of panic. Oh, I guess it is blinding. And parts of it can burst and travel as shrapnel. So it could actually kill you, it sounds like. We got a flashbang kills in games before. Usually bonking them on the head with it. Those actually might be just grenades. Holy shit. Oh, so it's just people actually dying. Oh, holy shit. I don't know if I can... I guess I can post this. Are people dying in the video? I'm trying to find the one with the audio because <laughs> people sound like they're dying in it. <laughs> Are people dying in the video? The YouTube bot before you upload? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it keeps every video cuts before the grenade goes off. Damn. You're getting uh, teased by your own video you're trying to reference. Yep. I'm going to turn off my chat now because I don't know what's being spewed. What kind of aid yeah. is being spewed in there? Well, this is the best I can find for now. Everybody jumps all at once. I like how just casually he just bulls them into the crowd of people. Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was like more terroristy where he kinda like runs in and No, he's, he's just, just chilling there and he's just like, Hey, he's like he's handing out pamphlets on like yeah. like Hollywood Boulevard. Like, here's a grenade, here's a grenade. Oh my god, I just watched that video. It's kinda quirky, I guess. I don't know. What the fuck? Dude, where did he where did he just get grenades? I don't You're know. Asking dude. asking for a friend. <laughs> asking for myself, <laughs> I have plans. <laughs> <laughs> They don't know I got some big, big plans. RuneScape on a Tuesday at 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> what are oh. we playing next, Dallas? What's up? What's up next? Uh, I, was thinking, I was thinking Siege. Siege? Uh, mm, I don't know, Luigi. Walter, what are we booting up? Walter, get on the game. Walter, what are we playing today? Walter... Walter, uh, Gus needs a fifth on uh, Valorant. Get on. Walter. 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 Can someone Walter, do that Walter, with AI? Walter. Walter. <laughs> Walter. 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 Can someone make that, please? Crazy train, but it's Mike saying Walter. <laughs> it is pretty. It has some tonality to it, so I think it would be pretty easy. Somebody can do that. Somebody Walter. please make Remember that. Remember when you used to do that, dude? You used to take, like, fucking farts and burps and shit and make songs out of it? Yeah, I remixed Spoon's Asshole, Soup's Moaning, and then um, Your Burps. Yeah. Yeah. I hit all the bodily functions, I think. I didn't have a bitch to queef for me, so I didn't get to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way you fucking said that. The way you said that was hilarious. <laughs> I didn't have that at the time. At the time. You should not done, have it readily available. You could have done Duper Queef. <laughs> yeah, you could kill yourself, dude. Duper no, Queef. <laughs> Duper, Duper Queef. Yeah, you can kill yourself, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, my Jump God. King. Yeah, when's the last time you guys saw this? Wait, is it showing up? No. Wop, bop, baloo, bop, dop, dop, do. How does it feel to play Soma? For some people, just we make a me. video essay. <laughs> For other people, we just play it. You sound like a like daily dose of internet. Hey guys, I'm your daily dose of Soma videos. <laughs> so when's the uh, tenth channel? And what's it gonna be about? I don't know. Probably um, cheese review. Okay, Honestly, that could go dude, hard. I would really enjoy that. Cheese yeah. review, and I think your fans there's a there's a, a <laughs> yeah. starvation for that type of content. Like a on good the crossover. I swear to God, I would watch that. If yes. you did cheese reviews, I would watch that. Like cheese tier list? If I were to do it to it, I'd always make sure sharpness. to buy like a five pound brick and just take a big chunk out of it. Be like, yeah, this is. There's no other way to do it, in my yeah. opinion. Couldn't do yeah, like I mean, If you're going to do cheese reviews, you go all the fuck in. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Not some little charcuterie board French pussy <laughs> cheese <laughs> review. Well, you, with your little. Cheese little, well uh, review. Uh, what the hell do you call them? Toothpicks and no, uh, yeah. uh, eating a twenty-pound block of Colby Jack. <laughs> I would click on that in an instant, oh, dude. <laughs> what? I would totally click on that. Eating twenty pounds of cheese in one sitting. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. <laughs> I wonder what a twenty-pound wheel of cheese. Dude, my Google searches today are definitely <laughs> something. Russian throws grenade. Twenty pounds. Yeah, I uh, I've squid recently beak. searched for what does squid beak do? What do f real flashbangs do? And I'm looking up twenty pound <laughs> wheel of cheese. What's your um? Do you have like a next game you want to review, McNancy? Um, not sure. I know I eventually want to do the game Prey. It's another like super deep lore game. Um, I kind of want to dabble into maybe like something that's not a game, maybe like a movie or something. Like a movie? Yeah. That could go hard. What's your, what's your favorite movie? What would you do? Well, my favorite movie is Interstellar, but I don't know if I would want to like cover that for like a video. You're a pussy, dude. It's just I don't know. I feel like everybody's seen that movie. I haven't. I haven't seen it. Neither of you guys have seen Interstellar. No nope. meme. I haven't seen okay. it. Okay. 
What does it mean to be alive? All I know is the memes from it. First okay. of all. <laughs> Just do that what for like every video. What does it mean to be interstellar? <laughs> what does it mean to be Matthew McConaughey for a movie? What does it mean to go to space and see yourself in space? Yeah, the only scene I've ever seen from that is the, no, no. Howard's no. crying in the thing. Ah, that's the only thing I know about that movie. Just cries like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Peter. No, you guys fucking definitely need one. That is like one of the best movies ever created. Is movie it better is so than fucking The Martian good. by Matt Damon? Oh, 100%. Martian was good. Really? I, I, have Martian. Seen, I have seen The Martian. I Martian. thought that movie was sweet. Martian That's was cool really movie. good. McNasty, you should buy that uh, $3,000 will of cheese that I linked in the chat. <laughs> $3,000? Oh, oh, yeah. Parmes Parmigiano or whatever. Yeah, that shit's expensive. Dude, full will of Parmigiano. I don't even know if I can say that. Dude, R that Reggiano? next word is like almost the N word. I don't know how to say that. Go ahead and try. Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Ooh, that was close. Bro, in a way. Dude, why, why do they like, why do they fucking use a typewriter on the side of this cheese? Oh, yeah. What the hell is all that about? I don't if know. If I'm spending $3,000 on a wheel of cheese, don't fucking ride on it. Yeah, I some hipster it, put his like grocery list on the side of it. <laughs> I think I remember seeing something about like Parmigiano Reggiano can only be made in one part of the world, which is why it's so expensive. What does that mean? I can, like it, it's only created in like one, like one. Like they have a patent on it. I, what happens I, if I make it in my garage? Product of Italy. Shocker. Yeah, I'm not exactly Boy, sure. Boy, ain't no. I remember seeing something about that though. But yeah, it's very, 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 very. I can't believe this bitch is three grand. Yeah, that is for insane. a wheel of cheese. That is actually but there's free, insane. There's free shipping. <laughs> This bitch, there so. better be at that point. How much does this thing weigh? Probably about the same as a wheel of cheese. Oh, that's my fault. 80 pounds. That's Damn. an 80 pound. So that's I got a question. 80 pounds. What are you doing with that? I, Parmesan and for a year straight. Do you ever see those videos much. where they it like, bad. where they're making the fettuccine Alfredo on the wheel, like on the cheese wheel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can probably get a lot of good meals out of that. I feel like you if you're going to spend... get a lot of hate if you did that with that wheel of cheese. Out of <laughs> you just People put it would on just, be pissed. just the most basic food, like a microwave entree of <laughs> noodles. Yeah. Covering my $3,000 wheel of Parmigiano, Reggiano, and Kraft Singles. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Honestly, I feel like the money would you would just make the money back on the on the YouTube video if you did that. Yeah, that would, that'd be a one out of ten. Yeah. Would you guys ever participate in the rolling of the cheese? Is that where they uh, jump down the hill? Yeah, they they roll hill. They roll hill. All right, let me start that over. They roll cheese down a hill, and then the humans are like, "I want to be like that cheese," and then they roll themselves down. They the chase hill. after it down the hill. Yeah. You never yeah, seen I've that, seen nasty? That. No. Oh what? my god, dude, you fucking right. loser, dude. You've seen Interstellar, but not the, <laughs> not the cheese Your priorities rolling, are fucked. Not the people falling down and hurting themselves on a hill, chasing a wheel of cheese, dude. <sighs> rolling of the cheese. I mean, are they uncultured. chasing it to like, the theme of Interstellar? Like, duh, duh, duh. They are, actually. Oh, yeah. okay. You could do then that. Then I like, can watch slow -mo. it. Then I can watch uh, it. All right, here's a bunch of white people running down a hill after a, <laughs> a piece of cheese. There you go. Yeah, that's definitely a, an extremely the white th activity. The thumbnail oh, of yeah. that, like the the thumbnail in the Discord, literally looks like people blowing up from landmines. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're in like a shooting or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep they they literally just fling themselves <laughs> down a hill. Dude, the thumbnail looks like gorillas in Vietnam, like fighting. <laughs> like, Holy shit! Oh, you're falling through one of the spike traps or something. <laughs> that is so goofy. Oh my god. Oh, they love it, bro. I can't believe you've never seen this before. Aren't you um aren't you uh, a cheese lover? Don't you love cheese, don't you? <laughs> yes, very much so. Well, you're you're a poser. I don't love sprinting downhill. You're honestly down hills, a little though. bit of a poser. I don't like running down hills though, unfortunately. <sighs> That's where I draw the line at cheese review. <laughs> Your channel will never make it. <laughs>
Dude, this and that running with the bulls, dude. Would you guys do that shit? Hell no. Fuck that. Hell no. He 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 hell, hell no. no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't know. It could be kind of fun. Would you rather run from a bull or run down a hill chasing cheese? Or cheese. Mm. At least at the end, I'd get cheese. I don't know well, that everyone you, gets cheese. Yeah, I think only the person that gets the cheese gets the cheese. Right. Isn't that how that works? Yeah, I, and I don't think anyone Latin even gets saying, the cheese. He who gets the cheese gets the cheese. Confucius, 1946. Are you guys watching my stream? Yeah, you're playing Scranton. Scranton. Oh, Pokemon. dude. You got to make a part two on this game, bro. I've been waiting. When's the second a video? Part two? I beat the When's game. Th oh, you beat the game? I think I beat is, the game. Is there DLC? No, it didn't even save my progress. This is back at the beginning. Oh, shit. So this game is about getting some nut. Literally getting a nut. Getting some nut. It's so funny that they made a game specifically for him. And He's I bought the main it. Character. I've never seen Ice Hairs before or any of them. <laughs> really? Don't really me. You've never ran with cheese. <laughs> you ran with cheese? No. Exactly. I knew what it was. Maybe if you would wake up from your coma. Huh? 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 I love that you were little in a coma. That lobotomy, like back and forth thing we did yesterday. Yeah, and we were pissing everybody off. <laughs> I actually legitimately forgot that you watched Saul, though. I uh, really? Yeah, I, I forgot that you had watched the whole thing because I thought I was like on you about it. Like, dude, you have to watch Saul. You were as far as you, all you guys. As far were. as my memory goes. Well, you and Soup were for a while, and then eventually I caved in and watched it. Yeah. Wait, watch what? Better Call Saul. Oh. I thought you were talking about, like, Saul, the movie Saul. All yeah. ten of them. Anyway, you guys want to watch me speedrun Scrat's Big I'm, Nut? That's all I'm doing. I, I'm just yeah, watching I'm you pick focused. up these, these amethyst rocks as a squirrel right now. That squirrel is loaded right now. This is very, like, PS3 coded. PS2, what, uh, bro. Wh who's the antagonist in this game? Does that mean villain or hero? Because sometimes I get those words confused. Protagonist and antagonist? Yeah, it's whatever you want it to be. Just who's bad. Uh, so it does mean the bad guy. Uh, yeah. There's multiple bad guys in this universe. Okay. Is it that I, I stupid remember. little fucking Eskimo baby? Is he the, is he no. the boss? No, there, I don't think there's any other Ice Age characters in this game. What? I think it's just... A scratch solo adventure. This would be like that, like making a video game specific to Gary the Snail. I would play the. And fuck And it's a out racing that. game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're telling me you wouldn't play the fuck out of that? Yeah, I oh, would. Oh, hundred percent. And the boss is SpongeBob trying to make him take a bath. <laughs> that would go hard. Uh. Oh, my pussy reeks! Oh God, yes, yeah, sir. It's hot as tits in here. Gary, now I know. I was wrong. I messed up, and now you're gone. Wow, wow, wow. Do you think anybody ever, like, canonically fucked Gary? Like, any of the characters? I don't know what that word means. Yeah. Like, canonically? I get that confused Like, in a with canon? Fiction. Like, is it canon that, Gary, like, Gary fucked, like, I don't know, the My Gary Leg? The, snail. the My Fuck Leg guy? Gary. Gary. Gary the Snail, motherfucker. You're listening to Gary the Snail Radio, where we only play death metal. <laughs> meow. <laughs> meow. 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 <laughs> McNasty, you been trying vocals or something? Uh, kind of, yeah. I, I don't know. I did a song. you DM'd me the other day about breathing. And I was yeah, well, I, I, I have a song. Oh, it's finished now, but I was working on a song where I actually, like, sang. And oh. I just, a lot of, like... While I was, I, I had to piece a lot of it together because I can't sing for like more than four seconds without getting like winded. I have this problem where I hold my breath when I sing mm. and I can't like figure out like how to not do that. So Interesting. I've been trying to like research like breathing exercises and stuff. So you're over there like straining like you're trying to shit constipated while you're singing. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yeah, that sounds miserable. Yeah. I like songs when it's only the singer breathing. 
kind of always wanted to like go do like learn how to like professionally sing same because i don't know shit yeah i just uh i mean i have decent like pitch i don't i don't really have like great pitch i would say but just from playing guitar for so long i've kind of just developed like like how you have like relative pitch yeah you know like as long as you're in key you kind of know where to go with notes yeah but then there's like eight thousand other steps you could do with your throat exactly uh to make things sound a certain way and yeah, eventually the goal would be to be able to sing effortlessly without having to like strain myself or like think about yeah. just think about my breath twenty four seven while I'm doing it. What's that woman's name? Um, is it Michelle Melissa? Obama? Yeah, Melissa Cross. You could take a lesson with her, dude. Who is like a YouTuber or something? No, she's like the most elite status vocal coach. She like she'll like talk to people like um, Bad Omens guy and. Uh, Corey Taylor and people like that about like their vocal technique and and how to scream and how to sing properly and not damage your voice. She teaches people, I think. I think she does lessons. Hmm. But she's uh she's insane. Why am I so dialed in on this fucking scrat gameplay? <laughs> Dude, yeah, I'm is, telling you, it's like hypnotizing. It's like it? it's like almost peaceful to watch. Hey, Amen. As a squirrel almost dies constantly. <clears throat> to Beatles. Dude, every every soup video is peaceful to watch. Very so. I like to fall asleep to soup videos. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is probably great for Spotify. You guys liking this scrap <laughs> gameplay? <laughs> How do I get off this fucking wall? Dude, this game is actually so buggy. No. I love this that little like, piece of shit. I love that like movie games are always just dog shit. So uh, obviously cash grab games is so yeah. funny. They go. made them in Finally. like Blender in a weekend. Oh yeah, I can throw my nuts. I forgot about this. Look what at this. Fuck? If you have nuts, what do you need nut for? What is purpose of game if have nut already? Cause we're going for the big nut. Oh, the big nut. Giga nut. Yeah, giga nut. <laughs> Nothing short. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys I got fucking just absolutely oh, yeah! obliterated shit faced. Tell us about that, uh, the puke story, bro. Let's hear about it. So I went out on uh, Friday and <laughs> instant. <laughs> um, went out like we went out super early. We usually, usually whenever I go out, I don't go out till like 11. Mm -hmm. You know, I pregame a little bit at home and like starting at, like 10, I go out, start drinking at like 11 and then usually gone by two. But for some reason this day, we ended up going out at like nine. And when we got to the bar, at first I went to that bar, me and you went to soup, the one that's rednecky. Yeah. For some reason, I just started taking shots like it was closing time. Like I was just fucking that's left, how you do it, baby. left and right pounding shots. Why waste time? And yeah, I think we were only there from like nine to ten thirty. And by oh ten thirty, by ten thirty, I was pretty fucked up. Like I was drunk. And then we decided to go to another bar which is the first time I had ever been to this bar. And I, I didn't ever really want to go to this bar. Cause they usually have like just an insanely long line that takes fucking hours to get into. But, um, we ended up getting there early and Friday's Friday's not really like a huge. Friday's would be nasty. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so by the time we got, uh, when we got to that bar, um, what I did was we, we parked in the back and I decided to, tried to go to the back and talk to the security guards and bribe them to let me in. And the other guys did not want to follow me. Um, and <laughs> the security guard took the bribe. Uh, I paid him a hundred dollars to let me in. Cause I just didn't want to fucking stand in line for two hours. And nice. the first thing I did, so I was by myself in there, obviously, cause the other guys were fucking standing in line and, uh, Ooh, it makes two moments. Anyways. Um, Sat at the bar. There was a, there was like one spot open at the bar, and just started taking shots. Just started pounding shots. And when I order mm -hmm. shots, I order two at a time. I'll either order a double shot or I'll, or I'll be like, give me two shots and then a fucking Coke chaser or Pepsi chaser. Okay. And just sitting there and like I would talk to random people like sitting on the left of me. People would like get up and leave and like new people would come. I would just talk to them. And apparently by by like eleven. I was so shit-faced where I was going up to my cousin to try and talk to him, and they could not understand what I was saying. 
Like I was literally just. So just normal McNasty. Yeah, I don't understand you ever. So. I was just like beyond drunk, and it was before midnight, which is something that's never really happened to me. Usually, you know, I'm I'm usually I've been that drunk before, but usually it's at you know two or three in the morning. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I got to, I guess I was sitting at the bar and my recollection. So first of all, I got kicked out of the bar, which is the first time that's ever happened to me. Um, and it kind of sucks because it was a new bar, which is, you know, it kind of makes it seem like I just do that all the time. Like, oh, this guy came in and acting like a dumbass and got kicked out. My recollection of the night was that I was just sitting at the bar talking to people and enjoying my time. And then I got kicked out and was angry at the security guard for kicking me out because in my mind, I was just, I was just chilling. I was relaxing and I wasn't really causing a ruckus, <laughs> but in reality, but in reality, I apparently was just like screaming pinche verga really loud over and over <laughs> and just being really rowdy and making a lot of noise. I don't think I was like, he was just having a YouTube session. So in by your himself. brain, in your brain, you were like, dude, I was just chilling and talking to people to my left and right. But in reality, if you looked at the security cam footage, you're like, PJ Verga. Oh, oh, yeah. Bungos. Bungos. Bunger. Bunger. Yeah. I guess I just, Boy. I guess when I black out, I just go into full on ADHD mode and cannot control myself. But he thought he was playing Siege at the bar. But he was making funny moments. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I'm glad that there's no footage of that. Um, <laughs> I would hate to see I'm that. Be very dude, you weren't going to upload that footage? <laughs> <laughs> not uploading that session. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I guess apparently I sat outside the front of the bar and argued with the security guard for like an hour or two trying oh to figure out God. why I got kicked out. Yeah, and I, That guy argued with you for an hour? I remember standing at the bar like in the front and, and like being really like just confused and angry and why I got kicked out and shit. But I obviously don't remember like what I was saying to them or what they were saying to me. I'm just imagining you talking to the security guard saying, mm, you guys want to do Shrek zombies or office zombies? <laughs> zombies? <laughs> Sir, you have yeah, I'm, like, to leave. Just trying to like fucking record with them. Not even angry. <laughs> um, well, we haven't done siege in a while, bro. It always does good on the channel. Come <laughs> on. Yeah. So I, I guess my next idea was to just, walk across the street and sit on a bench and that's exactly what i did walk across the street sat on a bench and i guess it won't i i i feel like i fell asleep like because apparently i was sitting on that bench for a solid two hours and it did not feel like two hours it felt like 10 minutes and i woke up i guess woke up or came to or whatever and there were, i just literally puked all over myself there's puke all over my beard, like all over my shirt. Like when you say when you say puke all over yourself, like you, w describe in grand, grandiose detail. Well, yeah. I remember sitting on the bench and kind of like leaning to my left, just fully lounged out and like puking. And I thought I was puking off of the edge of the bench onto the floor, but I had just covered my shirt and my beard in puke. Beard. My beard. <laughs> shirt and beard. Yeah, and, I got uh, puke on my beards. And I almost lost my phone that night because I think what happened was I, the bench was like, it had like slots in it. Like it wasn't a full solid bench. It had like divots in it. And I think I had just set my phone on the bench and it fell through the divots. So by the time my uh, cousin and my other cousin had found me, it was just sitting under the bench, but I was obviously too fucked up to like know that. And I went back to the truck and I was like, Oh fuck, I lost my phone. And my cousin was trying to just take me home. He's like, oh, you're just going to have to deal with your phone being lost. I'm like, what? No. Fuck you, you fucking loser. And he took me back to the bench and it was sitting under the bench. So glad that I didn't lose my phone. That would have been very annoying. But uh, yeah, was... first time I ever got kicked out of a bar. Uh, first time I've ever passed out on a bench drunk with puke all over me. Um, I'm proud of you. First loud pinchy verga in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got to have that. Everybody's got to have that at some point. Yeah. What does I, that even mean, or is that just a made-up word? I think it was like fucking idiot or fucking dumbass or some shit. I've asked okay. you like eight times, and every time So I you were just yelling fucking idiot at the bar in Spanish in, in California? California? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Where there is a hmm. large Hispanic community. Yeah. How could That's he great. have gotten kicked out? 
Yeah, looking back on it, uh, looking back at me, I was dumb for <laughs> saying Pinchy Vega. Anyways, yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think that I was saying it at anybody. I think it was just saying it because it's kind of just like a, right, right, right. It's like a I tick it, for me, yeah. yeah. But I think it was just being so loud and obnoxious that they were just like, this guy's just clearly just fucking hammered. A big problem on why I got so drunk is because it's Alcohol. because I got in early. <laughs> Is because alcohol. Well, yeah, alcohol too, like obviously, but it's the fact that I got in early and sat at the bar by myself and was just consistently just boom, boom, give me this, give me that, give me that until I was gone. Like if I had waited with my cousins in line, like I would have sobered up a lot more from the first bar and I probably wouldn't have sat at the bar because there was only one seat available. Cope. But uh, (laughs) I mean, I went in without them and left, left them outside. So you went in without your cousins you got absolutely hammered you screamed fucking idiot in spanish and got kicked out and threw up all over yourself yeah <laughs> what a nice that's, that's fucking sweet dude yeah it was uh pretty fucking rough i don't uh usually i'm very good about knowing my limits but i think on that day i was I you think were it, the pinche verga i was the day. pinche verga <laughs> 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 i think a problem i was just drinking too fast like usually I kind of like pace myself out a little bit, but that day, for some reason, I was just pounding alcohol. Happens, bro. Every two happens. or three minutes, a fucking double shot. Are you it okay? Happens. Am I okay? Are you okay? <laughs> kind of. Okay. Do you have the like post drinking guilt? Oh, you yeah. Just feel 100% like the I, worst person ever. Yeah. I uh, definitely not ever going to show my face at that bar again. I'm glad that I didn't nah, do that. Dude, at- you got to go back and give them a reason to kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go back with a vengeance now, dude. You got to go back with a weapon. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That's a joke. Definitely not <laughs> going to do that. <laughs> um. <laughs> just kidding. That is a joke. I, uh, I, I'm i just glad that I didn't do that at like one of my normal bars I go to. Because it's, um, you know. Embarrassing to have to go back and be like, hey, drunkie. Yeah, I'm <laughs> well, sure they I remember mean, you too. So I mean, bro, shit like that happens. And you know, it it does suck when it happens for everyone involved, but it's also a bar, so they're used to it. True. Yeah. To be expected. They gotta toss you out, but they're used to it. I mean, you were probably like the, the fucking tenth guy they had to throw out that night, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah probably not so, even the person. I've first literally person driven by that bar before. Vanigo. I've driven by that bar before and seen people being kicked out. There was this one guy who was in a wheelchair and he was literally like oh, no. rolling around. I know why they kicked him out. <laughs> <laughs> they rolled him out. You mean they rolled him out. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I knew he got kicked out is because he was like rolling around his wheelchair in the oh. middle of the fucking intersection and people were trying to drive around him and he was just fucking hammered. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but can you not get a DUI in a wheelchair? Um, I don't know. Wouldn't that be R-U-I? A W-I? <laughs> Wheeling under the influence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could you could endanger yourself and other people behind that wheel as well. So, I mean, who was literally rolling around in the middle of an intersection? So I guess it was kind of... But bit. he wasn't in the bar, though, right? No, I got or kicked was out. that after he got he got kicked out and then proceeded to wheel around in the yeah. intersection? I think he was just like, kind of like me, how he got kicked. He just fall into okay, the Okay, did anyone just see what happened? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Got sucked into the fucking into the void, Are, the Fortnite void. You should let them know so they can patch that. <laughs> yeah, I'll send that clip to the devs. Devs watching this of the Scrat game, please fix. Look, I'm trying to do it again. You can kind of almost like face through the... Oh! Any percent... I think there's speed runs of this game. There has to be, right? Probably, dude. I feel like this would be something like Moist Critical would speed run. Yeah. I'd like to speed run a game someday. I wouldn't know what the hell to start with, but... I tried to do speed runs of Minecraft, but it was too hard. I tried to speed run Super Mario 64 for a while. Yeah, see, that that one's good because you can get consistent with it. Minecraft seems so random. Oh, it is 100% random. I feel like I would want to do a speed run that, A, doesn't take eight hours like some people dedicate themselves to. Um, and B, one that's that's based on, like, skill and not just completely random seed where you just restart until you get a good one. I can never imagine speedrunning a game that takes, like, seven or eight hours to beat mm-hmm. and then, like, right at the end, just something random fucks you up, dude. That would... 
I would not be okay. I yeah. know, like most of your attempts get like cut short at like hour four, and that's just oh, there it goes four hours. Dude, you guys need to play Hell Divers. Oh my god! I downloaded I'm it a couple days to. ago. I just uh, haven't gotten on it yet. I'm playing COD. I just like to do the new COD is just good to me. I don't know. I like playing the old maps. They came out with some new maps that actually feel like old maps. I just wish I knew more people that played hardcore. I fucking hate core. Well, you're definitely in that demographic, old men. Who get way too drunk at bars. <laughs> <laughs> Play hardcore on COD. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk about gamer soups? Gamer soups. Gamer soups. Gamer soups. Gamer soups. Gamer soups. Guys, if you haven't seen, Gamer Sups is expanding into solids. Into solids, baby. They're making they ramen. They expand their dong. Yes. Yes. So they're making ramen, bro. And it's... Very good. It's very good ramen. I am a fan of it. We all know you they like ramen, us, dude. We can... Yeah. <laughs> dude likes ramen. <laughs> <laughs> Kill yourselves, like, actually. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Gamer Soup's coming soon. We're probably going to get our own flavor at some point, I would hope. It is really good. Gamer Soup's on the horizon. Try it out. I think you'll like it if you're a ramen enjoyer. Use code GOONS. Use code GOONS on your Gamer Soup's. Grandpa's Ashes is also back in stock. Woo! So if you, missed, if you missed it or you need a re-up, dude. Or you, you, know you miss maybe your shit being brown, you miss it being green, and gone back to brown, now it can be green again. Uh, if you never got the green shit experience, now is your chance. Yes. If you never got to see if your shit would be green, you better do it quick. And if it ain't green, die. You're a bitch. You're dead to me. Well, that was an hour. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Download on... Spot... Spotify. Yes, sir. Like, comment, subscribe, comment, um, some. Do it. Do the thing. Thanks for hanging with us, everybody. I'm gonna puke.